200 runners line up and Princess Elizabeth, with a pearl-handled pistol, sends them away for the Canard Trophy Marathon Race. From the grounds of Windsor Castle, the Princess watches them race off on the stiffest test of the year. From Windsor Quadrangle, the course goes to the Polytechnic Stadium in London. The distance, 26 miles plus. Taking an early lead is that doyen of marathon runners, Wari Jack Holden. The Tipton Harrier may be 42 years old, but as he leads the way into Chiswick Stadium, he's as fresh as if he's coming in from a stroll. There's nothing to it, he says, as he romps home winner by several seconds. To a veteran champion built on storybook lines, the Earl of Gowrie presents the coveted Marathon Cup. Over in America, veterans of another sort catch the limelight. A parade of pre-World War I cars sees off a sporting event that mixes nostalgia and speed. It's a day of Do You Remember? Fifteen thousand see the start for the race of the day, a grueling hundred-mile marathon for sports cars. Skids are frequent and unbanked turns spell danger every time a car thunders by. Covering the hundred miles in eighty minutes, Florida's George Huntoon flashes home number one. 